My name's Drogo, I'm the founder of Fine Food Specialists. Welcome back to another edition of Drogo's Kitchen. In this edition, we're gonna be looking at caviar and all the different species that we sell on the website. Caviar is really big for us on Fine Food Specialists. It's become a very, very big uh, category. Caviar is funny because it's a bit of a, you know, no one really knows the ins and outs about it, but we like to try and be very transparent. And there's many different grades of caviar, different types, different sturgeons, and it's all a bit confusing. But here I've taken a range of the most popular ones. Generally, caviar, the cost will vary on the colour and the size of the egg. For example, a beluga sturgeon takes, in the wild, 25 years to mature. In a farm, probably about 15. Now, 15 years to feed an animal that is eating a lot of food is costly. You can see immediately how they vary in size and colour. And they all taste different. I mean, it's hard to explain how different they are. It's like saying, what does apple taste like? What does pear taste like? But if I go through each one and give you sort of tasting notes, so rich, salty, Moorish. Mm. So good. It's the imperial gold. The eggs a lot firmer. Almost a more leathery taste. But it looks amazing that. Now the imperial has always got a very crunchy egg. Much, much firmer. It's caviar heaven. This is the, uh, the higher grade of the Ossietra. Imperial Ossetra. It's funny because I almost feel that's my favourite out of the four. So it can vary. Royal Sabruga. Again, really salty and rich and absolutely delicious. I mean, they're all delicious and caviar should be kept very cold. So when you receive your caviar, you need to get it straight in the fridge. Don't be scared about freezing it. You can freeze it if you put it in the freezer. Do not do that because it will freeze. And once that happens, you will ruin your caviar. But definitely keep it in the fridge. You can eat it with Bellinis. Um, we sell our own bellinis here. Some people eat it with sour cream. Some people eat, have a chop it of uh, onion, parsley. There's lots of different ways of eating it. For me personally, I don't think it needs anything. Straight out the tin, onto your hand, off, away it goes. I mean, it's such a, such a treat. Your 10 grams goes further than you think. You know, you can create the perfect gift. You can choose which caviar you want. We also obviously do up to a kilo as well. One thing you must not do is eat caviar with metal spoon because it will taint the taste and that's why we eat it with mother of pearl and natural ingredients come out of the sea. So I think that's, that about sums it up. I just wanted to give you an idea of what is caviar. Well, as you can see, different colours, different sizes and different textures. And that's all really important when it comes to caviar. If you've got any questions, do give us a call. The team will be happy to help and talk you through your requirements, your needs. We hope you enjoy some caviar this Christmas. <laughs>